This project has been uh, a long time coming and it's, it's uh, Alberta's first overpass outside of Banff National Park. So where we are right here is a really important sort of crossroads in the mountains for wildlife as they move east, west and north, south. And it's also, you know, a really busy section of the Trans-Canada with over 30,000 cars a day coming through here in the summer. So, you know, the location is key both from a wildlife movement perspective, but also a human safety perspective. It's an area that's seen a lot of collisions, mainly with deer and elk over the years. So the crossing and the fencing are really going to help uh, make the road safer for people and wildlife. You know, deer and elk will often start using these things before they're even finished. Um, and that's been the case with this crossing, even though it's, you know, technically not complete yet. Uh, we're getting close, but not quite at the finish line. But as of last fall, once the fencing was completed, um, the monitoring cameras that Alberta has put up uh, show that wildlife are using this crossing even before it was officially done. So deer and elk will often have a really quick learning curve. Um, more wary species like wolves, bears, grizzly bears, especially with cubs, can even take a couple of years to use them. But eventually, you know, it's really the providing a linkage across a very busy road, a very busy barrier to wildlife that um, they will eventually use it. And the fence is key, obviously, to guide them to where the crossing locations are. Thank you.